for wow. Donkey Kong versus Rosaluma. And DK and Special hated this, right? I know, yeah. So let's see, uh, let's see how, how Ziga feels about it in this game. But the biggest reason why uh, Rose DK hated this matchup is because, one, his grab confirm, which is what made it so that he was a viable character in the game, was not uh, able to be done on Rosaluma. Mm, you're right. In this game, he has a better time landing, better time uh, not using, not having to use grab as a way to get in. Yeah, his power was, was converted from his grabs to elsewhere in his kit, which is a uh, more suitable way he'd like to use it against Rosa anyway. Things like his tilts are so busted in this game now. Look at that down tilt, just able to start off a combo because of the trip. However, it is, uh, he still has, he still suffers a lot from uh, his unsafe moves. So because even though his tilts are beefy and swordy, they're still unsafe on shield. So you definitely don't want to use them and have Rosa just camp you out. But we are seeing Ziga not really uh, care about it, all that type of stuff. Yeah, and I haven't seen much of Rosa so far in this game, so I'm not entirely sure how if she works differently at all, but I have to imagine she's very much the same. He's dead. Oh, he's not wow, dead. Wow, just fine. It's enough vertical distance and he's actually dead. Is that who you meant? Or did you mean Ziga? I thought Ziga was dead oh, because spi uh, Aerial Spinning Kong. But yeah. uh, Ziga having a little bit more than Aerial Spinning Kong than I have, uh, able to get back on the stage, <laughs> but now he's the one in disadvantage. Let's so, so I believe this Rosen Rose's up air get nerfed uh, in knockback? It got nerfed somehow. Up air? I yeah. hope it got nerfed. I think, it, I think, I think it, might, it might be the cooldown or the knockback. But I, I just remember there was some kind of change where Rosa can't just up air and spam. Like Ooh, that. but that is going to be a down smash because Ziga was trying to go for a down air and not snapping the ledge afterwards. Yeah, down smash is still strong. And I have to say, this is, it is kind of regressing to see Rosa <laughs> after not having Nazi for so long. I didn't even see her that much in Smash 4, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Like, we, St. Louis didn't even, even play her that much anyway. Ooh, and almost a really good combo there. Uh, Soldier opting to roll instead of following up. Oh my up. god, Ziga's combo game with uh, DK in this, he's just so good. He doesn't use things like uh, early down B. Yeah, I was just about to say that actually. Everything <laughs> else is just so good. Um, he's able to be very patient, just walk around and dash around. Um, and just he had he had the punish game in Smash Four without Ding Dong, and yeah. it's carrying over a lot to this game. Yep, definitely, because uh, he just got more power converted into parts of DK's kit that he was already very comfortable with using. And then so this, he can get some kind of the stuff that he was not using, he just it just gone now, right. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and I think uh, on that topic, like Ziga, I think one of his better traits as DK was fishing for those back airs and getting kills with that, and now it's just so much easier for DK to continue doing that. Yeah, uh, not gonna kill. And we saw, yeah, up smash not killing because he did not have Luma, and even though it was on P Pokemon Stadium one. Still not getting the kill. Ooh, trying to go for the back air, but not quite getting it yet. Yeah, unfortunately for Serrano Joe, he either just uh, waited too long to pull the trigger or actually wasn't planning on committing to anything. He didn't really have oh, I love that runoff back air, but yeah. it's not going to be able to get a full hit. I guess it's not going to be a kill move anymore. Yeah, he's going to have to be really careful about these up tilts. Oh my god, unable to get the hit, able to shield just through it and getting yeah, that up tilt himself. Like my piece jumping into that platform on your DK. <laughs> uh, not a safe thing to do when you're in uh, definite range of getting killed by that up tilt. Oh, no up throw coming from uh, Serrano Joe. He's just not seeming to be able to uh, oh, contest like with all of these moves that Ziga, DK has. Spinning hitbox and Ziga trying to protect his landing with that side B, but instead just going to eat a punch because uh, Serrano Joe did not come into an aerial like Ziga probably thought he was going to. I'm not sure why Ziga oh, was going to with that down tilt anyway. Sports match in this game is so good too. This is like the lag reduced or what? It's just like, it's such because pivot, pivot forward smash in this game in general is busted. You're able to do spacing. Really good for that. And, oh, Trish, see, this is also what Ziga does that's really well. He understands matchups. So he understands that oh. the only way that Rosaluma is going to be able to kill him is if he gets rid of Luma. And that S okay, so that S-Match I mean? kills there. But the one he went for right before that, which missed, was also just entirely safe. Like, he went for it, missed completely. Uh, but because Serrano Joe was on the ground and was, like, rolling, I think the only way he could have beaten that out maybe would have been with uh, a get-up attack. But I think even that was being spaced properly. But that's right? exactly what I mean. Every character's pivot F -sma dash back pivot F-Smash is oh. so good. In this game, we yeah. see Serac do it, we see Quilly do it, we see Ziga do it. Makes me want to play Mario a little bit more. Yeah, I know Mario has a really the good the people that have been doing that have been doing really well. Serac, yeah, the, like it's not you even just it's not even oh, just Serac. Like Serac, Quilly, right, Ziga, all three of them have been implementing it so well in their matches. Who's the third person you said? Uh, Ziga, Ziga, just Ziga, now. Serac, and Quilly. Quilly, okay. Quilly does it really well with, with Wolf with Bowser. Uh, Falco, he did it all the time with Falco. Yeah. So. Uh, it's just such a good option to do, especially when you're doing the microspacing. Yeah. And we're Ooh. seeing them just show prominence in their microspacing, especially as we've seen those up airs coming on juggling Serrano Joe in this game too. Yep, D may, DK may not kill with grabs as much, but he can still rack up damage, especially in those early percents with it. Ooh, that clinking with Luma is so sad because in Smash 4 it would just beat it out. Mm -hmm. um, DK still has trouble landing, but uh, Z is showing that he doesn't he doesn't really care. Using an upbeat to actually get back into the neutral stage and actually putting Sojo off stage himself. Yeah, Zika's good enough with DK that he's able to uh, get so much mileage off his own advantage state that he doesn't care if he 
lose his neutral at once. <gasps> oh, trying to go for the back air, not able yeah. to quite get it. In Very Smash 4, he would have been able to do like a uh, ledge trap or a trap with the uppy, but in this game, uh, doesn't have the strong hitbox on the edge. Kind of, almost like Sarnajo just way cashed off stage right there. <laughs> and Sarnajo playing so much more careful this time around, not, not getting hit by these back airs or these F smashes. This is going to be a cargo back throw. Oh, just going for the down throw. That's wow. actually really safe. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what he should have gone. Um, was able to get so much horizontal distance off stage that he just threw him right into the blast zone. He was dead already. Oh my god, he's just he knows that he has such a big lead that he can just go for these tri attempts at spiking him. Yeah, and Zeke is just relentless off stage right now, knowing how massive these hitboxes can be for him. Sorna Joe really needs to figure out a way to get this kill coming through. Well, there's a Luma's disadvantage in this game. It's just a lot worse from what I've noticed. Uh, no hitbox on that up E. Uh, aerials mm. aren't the safest, and just not able to get too much off of it. But that down air is going to yep. be able to get Down air didn't spike, but it pushed him just far enough down that there was no way Zeke was getting back from that. Yeah, and again, uh, Serrano Joe not getting hit by these. Uh, Lina's dash is really funny. Oh, that's, is that the new Nair? Where oh, she just wait, waves her wand? I guess, yeah, wait. I didn't see that Nair before. I think it was always like that. Was it always like that? I know she. I thought she just circles around. That's. I haven't seen Rosa Luma in this game at all. Oh, you're right. She did just circle around. Because Fair was one where she just, like stuck. Yeah, around. yeah. So Rosa Joe, I like that on you. Oh, really good play. Uh, set play coming from Sojo. You know, you get the up air from Luma. Oh my God! But that F smash is just gonna pummel through there and take the stock from. F smash making oh me sneeze God. and then the giant punch coming through. So I think with the jabby punish, DK's arms just so long. Yeah, she's like a front flip. Gigantic okay. Swords was able to pummel through everything. Sojo is at a huge deficit now. Ziga, I thought he was going to go for the spike. That was it right there. But yeah, deciding to mix up the way he edge guards now because Sonjo has done a great job getting away from these back airs and down airs. I really admire just the way that Ziga plays. He is able to just trap you so hard, making sure that you're not able to choose any option. Yeah, dude, uh, I have to say, I'm already looking forward to Ziga versus Quilly uh, in this bracket. Not to count on anybody who may be hoping to upset either one of them, but both of them are just playing. Really good to Say! Do. Yeah, kill with that. You and are he crazy. Takes him off Ziga. the side, and Ziga takes that 2-0 with the two stock on that second game. Ziga Ziga Joe's, uh, Rosalina, unfortunately, not looking as polished as he wanted to. Why did you just do 